Hey guys, welcome back to another price action trading lesson. We're going to follow price action using price action rules. So what is the bias in this market right now? We can see quite a decent bullish bias. We have a spike and a channel. The spike and a channel doesn't really fit that well. There can be possible tiny overshoot, but nevertheless, there is a potential spike and a channel. So I'm going to reset the count at each new high looking for long entries of a new high, first entry long, second entry long. I cannot go long this far from the EMA. Now we have third entry long, but it didn't even break below this bar right here. I cannot go long above doji bar like this. And by the way, I'm drawing a channel like this, not like here, because this is only channel for one bar and that's not really a correction. Okay, you can see this looks like a visual leg working lower. So this channel can get a second leg and new extreme. So for this reason, I got to be a little bit careful. I think we need to see high low confirmation setup. I don't think we can go long here nor here because the high low is so far from the EMA. Not even tail is touching it, let alone the body. I cannot go long here. And market created new extreme. So right now, down trip played out with the breaking new low. We have a bullish bias, so we expect new high, but I can only buy if I see confirmation in price action. This is push above EMA and a confirmation setup. The bulls are in the market because I don't know if there's a wider downtrend, how many pushes low there's going to be. There is no support just yet, so I cannot just buy blindly below EMA without key level. So I cannot go long unless we have a push above EMA and price action keeps working low. Okay, always you have to weigh in pros and cons for your analysis. And if there's a case for the opposite side, now I can see that there's a possible case for why the channel like this, but this channel down has overshoot. Okay, so we can have stronger pullback in the opposite direction. So I cannot go short and I cannot go long just yet as well. There is no key entry point and we're breaking higher. Okay, so now what I have to do is because I see EMA flattening and I can see move up, move down, move up. I'm going to identify the trend range because this is always something price action traders do when we have consolidation. We spiked up with bullish bias into consolidation. What am I expecting more? I'm leaning more bullish simply because I'm combining bullish bias with the overshoot, which can reverse the market bullish. And there is a higher chance we're going to go higher. We can create new extreme, but there's a higher chance we're going to go higher. So I want to see second inch long. If there's going to be high low, let's say here, I cannot take high low because there's a chance this downtrend getting new low. So you either need, high, excuse me, so you either need first second entry short or second entry long. There was no high low anyway. It was so far from the EMA this far up. And lo and behold, market created new extreme. So now I have to ask myself, is there a bearish case present in the market? There is not, because if I'm going to draw even wider channel, this is not an alternative. This is simply too broad. This fits well, breaking new low. If you're going to take a look at 10,000 tick chart, you would see clear two-legged pullback at the EMA. This is when high time frame can clear things up a little bit. So there's no bearish thesis, downtrend played out. You're buying the support according to range rules, buy low, trigger range rules, and you trade it up. So this is first decent high product setup. You're combining all price action rules, break new low, buying the support of the trend range, market needs to go higher. There is no good high low. There is no break above this bullish bar. I cannot go long above bearish bar. And even had there been a break, EMA in all these bars is too flat. And now we have bullish bar here, but when I was watching this live, I had a little bit different bars and I had my support a little bit lower because we spiked lower here. Now, after the fact, this is a good setup, but when you're watching this live, it's hard to know where exactly is the key level because you really like to see price session correct a little bit lower to make sure you're buying the bottom and the bears are getting trapped. So I count on the market. If you took it, decent trade, definitely. But when you're watching this live, it's a little bit hard to trust especially if you have a little bit different bars. It ended up working hard. Now, why are you thinking about buying? Because you're combining bullish bias. We trade up into the strength range. There is a support key level and price session continues high because downtrend played out with the break new extreme. So this is how we follow the price session rules. This push is so significant. I'm going to redraw a brand new option working higher. Can I fade the breakout? No, because there is a strong bullish bias. This uptrend is extremely strong and once it is so steep without broad break and new high, I cannot sell. And you can see how far from the key level you are. This was not really a healthy trend, this was just a consolidation before the bullish bias will resume. So I cannot be thinking about selling, this is way too bullish. Now I can see prices continue to work higher, so what I'm going to do, measure the first leg, copy it and see where the potential second leg is, where the potential target is. Right now it is a little bit far away, but this is my Thinking process, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, price session continues to work. I cannot go long this far from the EMA. There's a spike and a channel being present, so I'm going to draw a spike 
and a channel pattern. It has overshoot and now I have to assess the big structure because I always want to know what is the big pattern and there's a possibility for me to redraw why the channel like this. Now this channel is not the best channel. Why this is not the best channel? It's simply because in price action we prefer trends to form as consistent series of high highs, high lows, just swings, high highs and high lows. And this is not really resembling this pattern. We have a spike up, broad consolidation and a second leg working higher. For this reason, this channel is not as reliable, but I cannot deny the fact that we may reach the measure move here. This is so bullish. So it makes sense to follow this just to not sell prematurely. But this is not the best channel because remember you want to see consistent price swings up and down up and down like this this is one leg up very broad break and second leg up a lot of times it creates the push phase that is way too overextended because you can see overextended push phase not a single touch of the ema stronger correction phase overextending push phase stronger correction phase so if we're going to correct to the ema i would need to see how low confirmations up no there is no setup regardless but had there been second entry long even with the overshoot i think we need to take high low confirmation setup there was no setup regardless market continued to trade lower we have first leg down break second leg down now your bias in price action right now is still bullish this is our target potentially we are trending higher now it's just about timing the entry properly and remember same scenario like here you cannot go long below ema because you don't know how many pushes low there's going to be you need to see push above ema and high low or felt second like entry short and now we have great high low why it is great because it's right at the EMA after push above EMA, so you don't have to chase it too far up. There's a nice juicy bearish bar pull back in between. You have room to get out before this high. You're buying low, the single bar is small, and this is great high low confirmation setup. It is more contextual high low because there is no, there's a new high here, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, and third entry long. So it is more of a visual to like a pullback, but this is great high low to take such a small bar right at the EMA. And price action works hard. There is no false second entry short. By the time I get a false second entry short, you of course cannot go long here so far from the EMA. And market continues to work lower. So once again, what I have to do following price action, EMA is flattening. I can see some possible support here. Our channel is about to get confirmed, but we have a shortened down to working lower. I cannot go long just yet. I need to see break new low and then think about buying. Okay, you're breaking your stream for the downtrend, indicating bearish correction play out. So now I can start thinking about buying again. Okay, it's always push phase and correction phase when you are trading a trading market. And right now the correction phase ended and you're thinking about going long, but you need to see the push above EMA and high low. Can I get high low? We cannot get high low. By the time I get high low, it's just so far from the EMA, too far up. I cannot go long here. Now we have a full second entry short, but problem is it is lower than the high low and it's kind of in the middle of the string range. It can roll over because you want to see first entry short, second entry short like this. And there was a high low here and now it dropped lower. I don't think we can take it. If you took it, I can see why, but it is really better to be patient here because it formed much lower than the high low. It is in the middle of the string range, a little bit dangerous. Right session continues to work lower. Okay. Gonna redraw a brand new downtrend. Cannot go long just yet. Cannot sell because there's a bullish bias. Okay, now we have new extreme first entry short. Now we still expect new high for this channel. The support keeps holding, you can see flat EMA. There is no bearish case to be made. So we're thinking about push above EMA and some nice highs probably they set up. And we have a false second entry short. New low, first entry short, second entry short. There's a tight channel that has a break new high. If I'm going to draw a wider channel, problem is I'm not fully at the wider channel. And what if I have overshoot here, but I can draw it like this. Not a bad entry. Solid self to take a chance. Why? Because downtrend played out. Support keeps holding. There's a bullish bias. You need to get new high. You're combining all price action rules. Great setup to take a chance. How big is the single bar? Okay, only two points. So you can even use limit order. The risk is not big. And you got stopped out by one single tick. And then it went exactly where you thought it was going to go. So that's okay. If you had a losing trade right here, you don't have to kick yourself over it. This is unpredictable. These are the fake outs. So there was some bearish imbalance. You can see a lower highs. And, you know, market is correct a little bit stronger, but that should not deter you from taking a setup like this. So, okay, so to take a chance. That is part of trading. Don't get discouraged.
because you had the right idea, right analysis. There was just one little fake out trap that sometimes happens unpredictable. But you can see market tells us exactly what we need to know. So I still expect new high, there's a bullish bias. I want to see right now second entry long at the EMA. Okay, we are far from the EMA, there was no trigger. Now we're getting congested, so I'm gonna draw this congestion. And now we have a fell breakout second entry long. Fell breakout and this is a second entry long. This is a great setup, but when I'm watching this live, I have a problem locating the correct short term channel because if I'm gonna draw this channel, why we're not touching the second swing and when I'm gonna move it higher, where is the point? Is there overshoot? This seems a little bit too big, too broad. If I'm gonna make the second swing touch and this actually fits quite well, there's an early break. So because I didn't trust my short term channel, I didn't take this. This is a good setup to take because you're combining a second inch long with the fell breakout. Two channels need new high. Downtrend played out with the break new extreme. This is a visual tool I get pulled back down. But notice the short term channel wasn't as clear when you're watching this live. So I was hoping for a high low confirmation setup. But this is a great setup to take. It follows the rules and there was no high low. Break a new high. I don't think we can sell fade the breakout because there's a chance we're going to reach the new high. And now we push strongly below EMA and we have a lower high confirmation of the fell breakout. Now, very tempting setup because it is close to the EMA. And the fact that we didn't continue trending to the resistance we pushed down so strongly tells you that the market is now acting more as a train range rather than strong bullish trend. But because it is against the main trend, I have to market a little bit more aggressive. But it is a lower high, it is below EMA. There's time for correction. Decent setup. I don't think we can take a false second inch long with such an ugly doji. Market is trending lower, so I'm gonna redraw channel like this. We have break in your extreme. Can you go long? Very tempting setup because you're combining the bullish bias with trend range rules by low. But notice the signal bar. Not ideal signal bar, especially when there is no bro breaking low. You know, tempting setup, very tempting setup, but the signal bar is not that great. Had it at least take lower here and reverse up. Or had there been no tail like this, so you have room to scalp out before reaching the EMA, so you know the buyers are gonna at least pull back the EMA. But it's important to learn what to expect because you're combining the bullish bias with the support, with the range rules. So we expect for price action to go higher. And by the way, now that I'm looking at this setup, if you're watching this and there's a felt second entry short, there are a lot of times there's a new high first entry long, second entry long, just like here, but this bar was so big, so you can't really enter, it didn't even trigger. But had this second entry long for much lower, half of its size, this is where you could have re-entered because sometimes there is a little bit stronger pullback and you want to take the second entry long right here. But this was way too big, so no entry here. Horrible high low, bad inside bar I cannot take. Had there been good bar, you want to take it, confirmation. Market continues to work higher, so I'm going to redraw via the channel. We expect market, according to range rules and bullish bias, to go right here. So we expect new low, first entry short, second entry short failure. Felt second entry short would be great setup, but it was exactly around the news. So news distorted the price action a little bit. They made the bar extremely big, too volatile, unable to take the setup. Stop loss is too big, but this was a great felt second entry short if it didn't form around the news. So I'm going to zoom back. You can see channel working higher. We're following the trend line rule, the trend range rule. The goal is let the correction play out so we know when exactly to buy. And this was a decent felt second entry short that felt. Felt second entry short here, untakeable because the signal bar is too big. And now the channel played out, even the short term channel. So we have a break and a new high. And I can pause looking to go long. This is a felt breakout, which you can consider, but it is definitely a little bit more aggressive. But because it is quite far from the EMA decent tell, more advanced trader can consider. Okay, we pushed too far down. Bad signal bar here. Body not at the EMA. It has pushed so far down. This is a completely different lower high than this, which is much closer here to the EMA. Cannot take just yet. I was in a more second entry short. Then I took a break. And market 
continues to go higher so there's definitely some bullish imbalance being formed i cannot go long i cannot go short i can see first leg up here break second leg up and now it's hard to know what exactly is going to happen because notice it looks like the market is going to go back into the strength range so there is no good short setup just yet at the same time there is no good bullish pattern just yet i was possibly thinking when i came back from my break about the wider channel but we just had to break a new high of our main channel so remember we were trading a long healthy trend range the whole time you know you cannot take a false second entry short when there can be new low for this downtrend difficult structure to understand what exactly is going on it is too congested you know i don't think we can take any setup here truly what is the bias where's the key entry point i have this key entry point here but i drew this small support only after it bounces around here so you wouldn't have this when you're watching this at the time so it looks like it's gonna roll over but it wants to go higher due to imbalance so you cannot go short because you keep creating higher lows every single time but you cannot go long this far up so there is just no good entry here this is but you truly need to be humble objective and don't try to outsmart the market okay there's a high low here it is too congested so many stems you cannot go long but now there's a broad support push above ema so what would make sense would be felt second entry short something like this close to the ema that never for market continue working higher and now it is getting way too late very choppy day overall it was not easy day to trade sometimes you really love trading because everything falls in place exactly as you expect the rules work perfectly channels get new extremes and it's just easy to flow with the market today was so choppy everything was congested nothing formed so clean very frustrating day if you had a difficult day definitely you're not alone it was just not easy day to trade even though the vice is clear you're not particularly thinking about selling your only goal is to wait for market to correct and to go long but these corrections they were just choppy and longer than you would expect so frustrating day to find a good setup so if you didn't find good comfortable setup there were two great setups here this high low was really great and this felt second entry short losing trade but it was a good losing trade decent fell breakout second entry long here it's a shame this form around the news this would have been probably several the day easy price action to read but it was right around the news and this was chop to finish the day it is important to take breaks i feel so much better and so rejuvenated every single time i take a break it is amazing how well you can read the structure and how less frustrated you feel when you take a break so definitely don't stare at the chart for too long because the frustration can build up this is a mental game and it's extremely draining after a few hours especially if the structure is harder to read you're thinking really hard this is like chess because professional chess players they really burn a lot of calories it cannot be underestimated how mentally draining trading can be when you're really trying to focus and analyze the chart you have to make sure you don't do anything stupid and you don't break the rules don't look at a chart don't look at your phone just 10 minutes walk from the computer so you can reset break the chain of frustration and you can come back and you'll be surprised how well you can read the market and how much you're patient because you no longer feel the need or the urgency to take trades because every single time you come back after taking a break you feel relaxed you're not in a hurry to take a setup and this mindset is really important for trading. So I hope you had a good trading day. I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.